Max, can I offer you a drink? Water? Juice? Tea? Yeah, tea, please. Sure. Sugar? Honey? No, honey, please, no, no fucking honey. I'm sorry, Max. I've heard that a lot lately and it's all just empty comments. May I ask why honey is a complicated subject? Can I help you? Uh, no, can you? Well, it's just that you... <clears throat> so... I could have a cold, right? Do you have a cold? If I had a cold, would I be outside? Sorry. I'm sorry. That was out of line. Gotta keep up the reputation, right? I was wondering maybe you want to come sit next to me, enjoy a good book? You look lonely and the mood to be kidnapped by a stranger. I mean, that would be great, but... I don't know anything about you, I don't know what you're reading, and that kidnapped comment you made just now doesn't help the situation. My name's Sky. And who might that slim little character be? This? This is Honey Tea. Sky used to love having honey in her tea. Most people laughed when I told them. They just assumed she was too tough for honey in her tea. People are complex. What they show on that outside might not reflect how they are on the inside. She was really complex. Her attitude would just flip like a light switch and she just sometimes felt like she was on some funny emotional roller coaster ride. So what did you do at university again? Electronic engineering. Right, so you've done things like this but on a bigger scale. Yes, I have. So are they meant to turn on or do they just stay off all the time? I light up. <laughs> right, I'm not an electrical engineer. Electronic engineer and you're not really helping. All I'm asking is whether this is a lack of confidence or a display of love. <laughs> I stand corrected. Very impressive. Well, thank you. I do try and I appreciate the commentary. Max, you know you're good at what you do. I just wish I had your kind of intellect. What are you talking about? You're intelligent, people just don't see it. Are you calling me stupid? No, what are you talking about? Oh, whatever, Max. What? Sometimes I didn't even know what I did wrong. She was so unpredictable. It takes years to really get to know a person. And even then, there are always new ways to learn about each other. I just thought I knew her so well that she had overcome the hard times she's been dealing with of dropping out of uni. And I thought that everything was going to be fine. That in the days just before, it all changed. Something changed in her life. She started applying to university again. And how did that go? It was stressful for her to say the least. A lot lately, actually. I've noticed it. But this time. I'm sorry, it's just, you know, the uni applications and. I get it, it's a very difficult subject, but look, let me help you. No, Max.
I just don't understand. Why didn't she let me help her? Max, learn to help is very complex. It can be really hard for someone to tell a loved one how they really feel. I just wish I could have made things better or easier for her. It pains me to even think about how much she had been suffering. That day, my world had collapsed. All I knew was that the woman I loved is gone, and there was nothing I could do about it. I don't know what to do now. I can't imagine my life without her. <laughs> she was my world. The only thing you can do in a situation like this is try to accept what happened. It is incredibly painful, but over time it will get easier. How? I just can't, I can't forget her. You don't have to. Let her live on in, in your memory. Remember the good times you had together.